Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I thought I would finish up a plan with me for this week's weekly spread. But I wanted to show you first some unusual things I got from Etsy. So I've decided to do a no buy art supply for 2022. And in order to do that, I need to make sure I have enough sketchbooks and backup art supplies of the things I use the most. So I figured if I have at least 12 sketchbooks for next year, I should be fine. And in looking through all the standard moleskins and Strathmores and all those things, I wanted to see if there were any kind of unusual ones I've never tried and support some small creators in the process. So the first one I picked up is from Lavender Green Books. And again, these are all purchased on Etsy. And this is shipped out of Kendall in the United Kingdom. And these books come in A5 or A6. And I got the 320 gram paper. And this is a watercolor sketchbook. So I will either use this one in June for World Watercolor Month. How beautiful is that? With the deckled edge because it's homemade paper. Once paper sits over a mold, when it's handmade, you get these deckled edges. So here is the book. It is stitched. This is about five by eight is the A5 size. She also makes A6. Um, they come in different colors, but I really loved this sort of bright red and cobalt color together. So I'll either use this in January for a drawing challenge or June for World Watercolor Month in 2022. The second one I purchased, and this one is kind of, <laughs> my interests are varied. So Traveler's Company, um, makes notebooks and they did a partnership with the artist Katsuya Tirada and he did another art book called Sketch which is about 500 pages. Um, I believe it'll be on sale in Amazon um, in January of next year but if you live in Japan you can buy his sketchbook. He has um, a book called 10. He has a bunch of artist books. He's on YouTube. He is a phenomenal illustrator, cartoonist. He does comic books. He's done like Iron Man, Hellboy. He's done really, really cool things. Well, they did a limited edition Traveler's Notebook sketchbook and stamped one of his images on it of this girl and a cat, Gary the Traveler cat. And I just thought it was great. I don't typically buy a lot of wire bound things because the paper moves around a lot but I love Traveler's Company. I love the quality of their paper and I thought you know what why not it has a ton of pages it might be fun to do character design or something vertical in this book. Anyways this was purchased from a Happy Memory on Etsy and I believe that's the only place in the US you can get this limited edition book and that's shipped out of Hong Kong. So if you are a fan of Katsuya Tirada and you like his films and his video games and all his stuff, there is a sketchbook you might be able to find with one of his images on it and I just thought that was the coolest thing. The third sketchbook I bought <laughs> is from uh, Genji Studios. And this ships out of Denver, Colorado in the United States. And this is a reused and found paper, sort of bags, fabric, sketchbook. And this is stitched along the side with the threads hanging down. And there's threads on top. And you open it up and it has, it has pockets. And the paper inside is like a newspaper paper. And I thought it would be really cool because I know that when artists are testing paper, ink bleeding is something they don't want. So I thought it would be fun to embrace bleeding ink 
and stuff bleeding through and ghosting through on purpose to incorporate these really cool papers and do outline illustrations of some sort on this. This sketchbook has 50 pages. So I definitely think that ink will go through them and I think that could re really create a cool effect. And I could use that to my advantage in some way. <laughs> anyway, I thought this was really cool. She has an option where you can pick um, the size right now, she only has six by nine available. Or you can say surprise me. And you can also choose kind of what main color theme you want your book to be. Or you can say surprise me. So I said surprise me, surprise me because I love surprises. And I just decided to embrace the adventure and that's what I think this book is going to be. I have no clue what month I'm going to use this in, but I look forward to trying it anyway. I love I love the hand-sewn features of this, and I think this is going to be really unique and be quite a challenge within a drawing challenge to figure out how to use this, because I know I don't want to do colored pencil. I'm definitely gonna do ink and make it really, really difficult on myself <laughs> to see what I can and can't produce, and maybe I'll do mixed media with this. That would be a lot of fun. The last thing I bought is not a sketchbook. <laughs> but they're stickers from Higuchi Yuko. And she has the book Circus. I'll link that video I did of that book. I find her such a huge source of motivation and inspiration with her illustration style of animals. Um, and I use stickers in my weekly spreads and planners. And I will show you what I have. So, not that week, there's the previous week. Here's where we're at. And I included the business card from Lavender Green Books because it's that thick paper with the stickers and then the stickers I purchased. Just to kind of remind me when I purchased things, when I received things. I'm just gonna go ahead and date everything. I think I have, at this point, I'm really close to having 12 sketchbooks for next year. I just need to make sure because October hasn't even hit yet that I do not use them all up. <laughs> I don't think I will. I think I have enough extras to get me through September, October, November, December. I think I should be okay. If not, doing a YouTube video that's an itsy and a plan with me, plan with me. And I'm doing um, a little tiny mushroom every day on top, here, let me get this out. So um, fall fungi challenge is going on right now and it's a mushroom every other day and I've been doing that challenge. I'll show you, this is one I inserted because I would like to do it every day. And here's the one from yesterday, shaggy ink cap. So I'm doing the fall fungi challenge. So I'll just put fungi challenge. Plus I'm still doing sketch timber and I'm doing anatomy of animals and I'm still working on my bats. So this is today. This is how the week is looking nice and fun. I hope everyone has a wonderful motivated Monday. I will link to all the products I purchased from Etsy. And if you want, if you're curious to see what I am looking at on Etsy, I've saved a couple folders under drawing, journaling and watercoloring just if you want some ideas. If you are on a budget or doing a no buy right now, maybe not go over, the temptation might be huge. I'm not sure. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.